The part B definition of secure in the Webster Dictionary says to make sure that no harm, no evil, no destruction comes nigh the person's dwelling that's being protected. God is telling us again, he is a safe place for us. There is no need to worry. The prerequisite is to dwell in his secret place, to love him, pray to him, communicate with him on a daily and a consistent, fervent basis. Love on God and he will love you. God says in his word that he will honor those who honors him. A part of that armor is providing salvation for us. And a part of salvation is protection. It's part of his blessings and his shield. Have you ever flown regularly on a particular airline and they give you perks after years and many flights with them? After so long, you begin to get flights for free. You get perks and rewards for flying a long time. So it is with God because we consistently stay in his presence, because we're consistently talking to him and setting our love upon him, spending our life serving God and living for God. This is a perk and a reward that if we dwell in him, he'll give us all of these blessings listed in Psalms 91. One of them is the protection under his shadow, covering us with his wings. Again, a thousand may fall at our side, 10,000 at our right hand, but God redeems us and tells us and calls us by name. It will not, shall not come now our dwelling. Amen. I believe. In addition, God wants us to know that he is the only one that can deliver, heal, and set free. Psalms 127 and 1 gives the analogy of a guard watching over a city. But God says, unless I keep the city, that guard, he watches it in vain. God wants us to know, unless he keep your family, unless he keep you, unless he keep this nation, unless he keep our schools, unless he keeps everything that we're laying before him, whoever watches it and attempts to take care of it, they're taking care of it in vain unless he does the watching. God is telling us that he's the source. He's telling us that he's the watcher, that he's the covering, he's the keeper. So God watches over us and he watches over his word to perform it. Amen. If he said it in his word, he'll do it. He said it in Psalms 91, he'll do it. So he will watch over his word to perform it. Glory to God. I rejoice in that. I rejoice in the fact that God watches over his word to perform it. That means he's going to make sure that it's taken care of. That means that he's going to make sure that whatever words that he spoke, that they come to pass. He's going to make sure that the covering is there. Amen. Glory to God. It's time to take God at his word. And when we pray and pray his word back to him, say, Lord, I thank you that you said that if I dwell in the secret place, that he that dwells in the secret place shall find shelter under your covering, covering us like an eagle's wings, cover her children like birds cover their children. God, you cover us and you keep us from the storm. Amen. He cover us and it says his shadow. His shadow is enough to cover us. That shadow keeps us from the hell, from danger. Just like a shadow gives cooling and protection, God's shadow gives us protection and a cooling free from the hand of the enemy, free from the hand and the destruction of the enemy. Amen. In the name of Jesus, it is so. Amen. It is so. Amen. It is so that there is nothing or anyone that can pluck us out of God's hand. No enemy, no destruction. Nothing can pluck us out of the protection that God gives us. I'm reminded of David in the Old Testament. There was not a battle that he lost because God was with him. God was with him on every battlefield. He was never harmed. He was never hurt. He was never destroyed in battle. God anointed him and God kept him. So it is with us. When God anoints and say he's going to be with us, so he shall. Remember the children of Israel when God brought them through the Red Sea. He had a cloud by day protecting them and a fire by night. It went before them and behind them day and night. And when Moses built the tabernacle and the glory of the Lord came in after they built it just the way God said, the glory of the Lord rested upon the tabernacle day and night, showing God's presence. And we should know that God's presence is with us. If he said he'll do it, he'll do it. It is written in his word that he would keep us. Dwell in the secret place and take God's words to heart. Believe it and do not doubt. Stop doubting God's word. Stop believing that he won't do it. Stop listening to the voices of the enemy. Stop listening to the people around you who may not be protected, who may not be abiding under his shelter. As long as you are, take God at his word. 
It is the living word of God. It is the alive word of God. It is the breathing word of God. And his word is true. He cannot lie. And God watches over his word to perform it. That means he's going to make sure that it comes to pass in our lives. Just believe and take God at his word. Let's pray. I thank you, Lord God, that we are your people. I thank you that you've told us to dwell in your secret place. I pray that we dwell in the secret place of the Most High. And I thank you, Father, that you are a keeper and a sustainer of your word. You are a keeper and a sustainer of your people. I pray, Lord God, that we believe your word like never before. That we don't believe the voices of the enemy and those that are around us that are not speaking of your word and who may not abide under your shelter. I pray that we will believe your word, that we will stand on your word. And that your protection and shield surrounds us, our children, our homes, and our families, great God. Father, I thank you that you're good and your mercy endures forever. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that we take you at your word. Amen. God wants us to believe today. Believe today in Jesus' name that God is faithful and that he is strong and that he is true. And that he is our God. I pray that you were blessed and encouraged by this message. Like the video, share it with someone else. Please leave us an encouraging comment. Until next time, this is Tracy with Staying Fervent. Y'all have an amazing day and remember to stay fervent.